So you want to know what's kind of wild to me is that uh, Google Analytics will keep your um, will show you data from the last ninety days. Now, if you if you're selling a relatively simple product, great. Why not? Uh, ninety days is great. You're selling coffee on the internet, amazing. I know to buy coffee many times a month because I'm a, a fiend. But if you're selling a piece of software for business, uh, you're probably not going to be okay with a ninety day. Uh, period of data. Now, why is that? Well, frankly, software products take a long time to buy. I mean, I think about um, the kinds of products that, uh, that that we work with. Many of them have like really long buying cycles, like many, many months. 90 days just isn't enough. So let's say I want to know um, whether somebody lands on my site. Um, they land on my site on day one. Um, that's day one. And then they read my content they thinking about buying, let's say, I don't know, a CRM product that I sell. <clears throat> Do you think that within 90 days, that person is going to go from, I don't know what this product is, to I want to use this product to run my whole business? No, of course not. It's just not going to happen. So what, um, what I love is this tool, Dream Data. Now, GA4, uh, you can see I'm probably on this page somewhere. GA4, there you go. GA4 just doesn't deliver on the promise that it makes, right? <clears throat> So um, Dream Data is selling a product here specifically designed for B2B SaaS. And it's one of the reasons I love it, because they've thought about the problems that B2B SaaS companies face. Um, but so let's just check out some of these things. So the first one that I really love is uh, that they do this. So they do account-based analytics. It's not, um, this isn't like tracking a single user, they're tracking multiple uh, people on on a single account. So let's say there are five people in my um, buying unit at my company, and maybe I've got the CFO, I've got the CEO, maybe I've got the VP of marketing, uh, maybe I've got the director of performance media. Let's say I'm trying to sell to all those people. Now, if I am, and I'm using Google Analytics, each one of those people gets tracked as a single journey, right? And so I have no way to really connect what content works for which people. Um, on the other hand, with Dream Data, I'm actually able to see all of those people on a single view, a company view, uh, and basically be able to work out, okay, what kind of content on my site or what ads or what um, what activity on social is actually connecting with, say, the CEO versus the VP of marketing. So that's super impressive. And it does that out of the box. The next reason that I really like this is because it does cross-channel cost reporting. So nobody believes, or I, I don't think anyone really believes that uh, you go in a B2B SaaS sale from, um, I am coming onto your website and I'm buying. That is way too simplistic. People don't buy like that. You buy because you go through a journey of awareness building. Um, that happens across multiple channels for most brands. So why is it that it's so hard to build uh, attribution or models that think about how your spending is actually having an impact in Google Analytics? Well, Dream Data kind of goes around that problem by saying, look, here's the spend. And you not only can you just see the, here's the spend by the campaign or by the channel, you can also see it by the conversion type, which is super, super helpful. I really, really love that. There's a whole bunch of reasons why uh, why you might want to use Dream Data. They actually have this free product that you can get started with, um, and it does a whole bunch of things that uh, that Google Analytics four doesn't. Um, <clears throat> it's it is a learning curve. Like there are some elements of this that you will find not intuitive, but I think that you will find the actual outcome and the impact of using Dream Data versus Google Analytics quite significant. Uh, if you're in B2B SaaS marketing in particular. So um, check it out. Uh, I have no reason to recommend them other than I think it's a great product and there's a great team behind it. Um, no one's paying me to say this. I just think this makes uh, marketers' lives a lot easier. So go check it out.